Do not ever do this. Stick around and I'll show you why not. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get the business right out of the way. If my content has ever given you guys any value, please make sure that you smash that thumbs up, hit the bell notification bell, and subscribe. All right, let's get right into this. Now, I'm gonna tell you what happened here. This is gonna be just a small, small story. You see what's going on here? You probably cannot. I'm gonna bring the camera here and show you real quick. All right guys, if you guys are familiar with this, this is a GFI and an outlet tester to tell you if indeed this thing is hooked up right. You can see it's right in the middle. So if we pull this out, we can see the middle says open ground. Now let's talk a little bit about this. I had to go over to a house just here recently. A friend of mine knew a friend of mine who knew a friend of mine who was selling her house. And what had happened was they got an electrician to come over and uh, fix the receptacles. What they had in their house was before they fixed this, what they did was they had the two prong receptacles. Now, uh, that is code if you don't have a ground, but there's a way around that. So what they did was they just felt like, oh, we'll just go ahead and switch it out to just a duplex with a ground and walk away. When that home inspector came back, well, he used this plug tester again and realized that he didn't fix anything. In fact, that guy's in a pretty much, I think it's gonna be in a lot of trouble. But regardless, uh, what he did next, they gave him one more chance. And what they did next, and I came over to look because I just was so, 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 that I wanna show you what not to do ever. All right, first of all, if you don't have a ground in this box, you cannot, you cannot legally do, you cannot put a, a duplex on there. But you can put, a GFI in its place that will satisfy the code and make this safe. Now, let me show you what they did and I don't ever want you guys to do this because this is so dangerous, but let me show you. So we came back the next day because the home inspector and the homeowner was like, something's fishy. He was in there for less, and I'm kidding you not, 25 minutes to do four or five different receptacles that were not technically grounded. And this is what he done. And I'm gonna show you how it works and we'll talk about it a little bit, but I'm gonna tell you, do not do this ever. This is not, this is, this is horse crap. This is not good whatsoever, but I'm gonna show you how he satisfied this tester to get technically by what he didn't. So let me show you what he did. So you can see right here that both of the lights are lit up now, which if you look here, which you probably won't be able to see, or maybe you can, it says correct, but it's the same receptacle. So. What did he do? Well, let's take it apart and look. First thing we wanna do is obviously make sure we cut the power on this and double check. All right, links to everything that I'm gonna be using are obviously gonna be down below. These are the, some of the things that I recommend. This is just a Klein circuit test, and this is a Klein non-contact voltage tester. I, we call them tick tracers. All right, so we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna make sure it's hot. And it is, plus we can see right here. Let's turn the power off. All right, we saw the power go. Let's double check again. And it's dead. So, let's take this loose and let's talk about exactly what happened. If you guys are struggling with hand cramps and uh, anything else, definitely get you one of these. I'll leave a link down below. It's an electric screwdriver. This is almost one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and take this out and see. Put the screws. All right, we'll take it out. Put it down. We'll take one more opportunity to make sure that this thing is dead. We'll turn our tick tracer on and we'll make sure, make both sides and it is dead. All right, so let's open this thing up and see. So here's what we got. Now, I just want you to see that I do have a ground in here. This is only for demonstration purposes. I use this wall for a lot of different things, so just keep that in mind. I'm recreating what happened at the side job. So, we have the hot on the right side, which is good. We have the neutral on the neutral side, which is good. But then what they did is they took a jumper from the neutral to the ground, which satisfied the tester, and it is not right whatsoever because that is not a ground. This is just a neutral continuation. Do not do that. The way to correctly fix this is to put a GFI in here or another two prong receptacle that would look just like this with no grounds. You can put that back just as easy as you could, but you cannot do, 
cannot do this. Now, if you want to see how to hook a GFI up, guys, I have a video on that. It'll be coming up at the end of the video. That is exactly, exactly what I ran into. And what we had to do is we had to buy GFIs to fix it because they were literally days away from selling. And we had to put five receptacles or five GFIs in to satisfy it. Right, guys, it makes no sense to polish your turd because when you polish it, it's still a turd at the end of the day. So make sure that you fix everything right. That was horse crap. I can't believe that electrician, even a handyman would do something like that. I know that's the first time I've ran into that, but I mean, it happened and he's a well-known electrician and I, I just, it blows my mind to see stuff like that. Don't do half crap work. It's not worth it in the end. Guys, this is your second opportunity now to smash that thumbs up, hit the bell notification to all. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see what happens next. Links will be down in the description where I use all the stuff, guys. Uh, you saw in this video, I have a store that has a lot of great tools for you guys to use. All right, if you want to see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.